Yo what's up guys it's Aptrix here finally we'll be setting up the brand new PC SX2 official PS2 emulator for Android devices which has just released in its alpha testing versions now this is one of the most popular PS2 emulators ever created and in today's video I'll be showing you guys how to set it up the best settings and gameplay so before getting started if you guys are new here hit that like button subscribe turn on all notification and right here is the official PC SX2 emulator Android port which so many people were waiting for since a very long time even since like 2017 16 18 19 20 I remember play PS2 emulator being the only open source PS2 emulator for Android but it could never come into comparison with the PC SX2 emulator which was always better than the play PS2 emulator and that's why people wanted this emulator really badly and it's finally here in 2025 the year of brand new emulators especially for PlayStation so PC SX2 Android completely op open source project on GitHub you guys can see EE recompiler x86 to ARM64 this is the Android port recompiler used in PC SX2 emulator and and you guys can see it is still unfinished it is in its alpha stages so it's not even like a proper release of the simulator it is just for testing now the build that we'll be testing out in today's video is the pre alpha build which was released two days ago now you guys can see on screen data has been enabled such as fps vps and emulation speed and this simulator is getting updated regularly which is pretty amazing with all of that out of the way i have already added the pc sx2 emulator on my android device so let's open it and when you open it for the first time you will see something like this you will notice that the emulator has successfully started and it immediately says Sony Computer Entertainment presents. This is the official PS2 boot up screen and at the top right corner we have the FPS bar. We also have speed percentage and much more. Now you can simply tap on the first option right here and choose the game that we want to emulate inside the PC SX2 emulator Android. And you can also choose the language by using the X button. So here we go. I have pressed the X button and let's take a look at the PS2 user interface which is pretty amazing. We can run it very smoothly. So let's tap on the X button and yeah you can also configure system from here which is pretty cool as you guys can see we can also browse games and do much more all of this is working properly anyways what we'll do is tap on the first option afterwards simply select the game that you want to play for now i have selected god of war 2 the best ps2 game of all time and immediately you guys can see our game has successfully started within few seconds now you guys can see sometimes the controls may or may not work like in this case i am pressing the x button but it's not getting recognized here now i have decided to load a different game instead because the on-screen touch controls were not being recognized in God of War 2 so I have loaded Tekken 5 instead which is one of the best PS2 games of all time. At the top right corner you guys can see the FPS which we are getting and I think this is being emulated in the native device resolution because the textures and quality is looking pretty amazing. Now if you press the back button the emulator closes so there is no dedicated settings menu or whatever. This is just the improper port of the PC SX2 emulator for Android devices and here you guys can see our on screen touch controls are actually working but unfortunately it seems that the game had frozen for a few seconds so i'll just go ahead and press the x button and start the match so here we go our game has successfully started unfortunately god of war 2 did not work but at least tekken 5 is running and the device which i am using for today's video is my snapdragon 8 elite processor android device which is really good it should be good it has to be good but the fps which we are getting is still not even 60 fps and you guys can see no matter what uh, there are some stuttering issues here and there. I had thought that this game is running in full native device resolution but no guys it's not running in native device resolution. I think this is like 720p resolution or 480p resolution. So for what is being provided here and what we are getting I don't think that this is a good deal. I do believe that this simulator has good potential but I don't think that it is just playable right now. It needs so much more features, so much more development and I guess this is just being developed by a single developer. So unfortunately it is lacking quite a lot in terms of features and in my opinion Nether SX2 is just so much more better in terms of performance, customizability, ease of use and so much more. So for now PC SX2 Android is a very ambitious project but you should not use it in my opinion. You can try it out though and give some feedback to the developer but that's about it. Let's wait for the future of PC SX2 Android when we get lot of features but I don't think that will happen anytime soon. That's going to be it for today's video though. Thanks for watching. Hit that like button, subscribe, turn on all notification. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.